Hey guys, Team Trekyards here. I'm Captain Foley. And I'm Commander Cock. It's nice to see you all again. So, Stuart, this all looks very familiar. What's going on and what's the topic of today's discussion? Well, Commander, we have actually been presented with a very unique opportunity. Uh, something that doesn't happen a lot and we should really take advantage of it. You, of course, know our good friend Doug Drexler. Oh, Doug. I know Doug. Love Doug. How's he doing? <laughs> And I take it that you've heard the names Michael and Denise Okuda before? Star Trek's true power couple? Somewhere, vaguely. No, I... Yeah, Michael and Denise. Yeah, obviously. Uh, together, those three have helped shape Star Trek over the years and given us, and all the Star Trek fans everywhere, just fantastic things to look at and discuss, from iconic ship designs to the look and feel of the L cars. And more. Pretty important people. That's right. And uh, this June, June 24th and 25th to be exact... Uh, they will all be giving tours of the officially licensed Star Trek TOS sets in Ticonderoga, New York, all thanks to our other good friend, Mr. James Colley. That's right, they'll be there for what James is calling the Ultimate Insiders Weekend, or Drexakuda Roga Conda. Now, these guys have loads of experience and knowledge of Trek, and not just the things that they themselves are responsible for designing or creating. They've also researched and know almost everything about Star Trek productions going back to where it all started in 1966. Michael and Denise are, of course, responsible for compiling the Star Trek Encyclopedia, which is, of course, a valuable tool for all things Trek, and it helps in the research of Trek Yards all the time. Clearly, guys, they know a lot. Clearly. They wrote the book on it, literally. <laughs> yeah, and it's been immense help over the years, for sure. And they, with Doug, have also had the distinct pleasure of meeting and talking mm -hmm. to the incredible designer of the original Starship Enterprise, the late Matt Jeffries himself, mm -hmm. making this Ultimate Insiders Weekend a godsend for Star Trek fans everywhere. Uh, we know that everyone cannot make it down to the set tours and would miss out on this unique experience to learn from the very best in Trek, or the trifecta of Trek, as we like to call them. Uh, so since we here at Trek Yards pride ourselves in documenting and preserving Star Trek history for the ages, and have such a large viewership on YouTube with over 25,000 subscribers, we figured it would be a good idea to make the trek to Ticonderoga and document the tours and speak with these three incredible people to learn all that is learnable. But let's not forget the knowledge that James Corley brings to the table. He's spent years researching everything about the original series Enterprise to make the most accurate recreation possible. And that's not just it. He also has a wide array of original, wow, at the very least exceptionally detailed recreations of props from the original series for people to see and enjoy in his little museum there. Very cool. So, what better opportunity than for us, people that pride ourselves on our love and passion for Star Trek, and have the professional documentary making equipment, skill, and desire to go down and document this for all the fans out there and preserve these events in Star Trek history on film. And as Stuart said earlier, we are documenting these once-in-a-lifetime moments for Trek fans old and new and preserving them on film for people to enjoy for many, many years to come. You're on Trek Yards. But we are here on Indiegogo to ask for your help to make this possible. Yeah, that's right, guys. Uh, we are here to launch our Trek Yards Mission Canada 2, The Wrath of Ticonderoga. As you guys know, uh, we have been to the Ticonderoga sets a few times now and have got a lot of awesome Trek Yards footage as a result for you all to enjoy. Uh, the first time during our Mission America trip, though, the day we arrived was the same day that the guidelines from CBS dropped the Phantom guidelines and literally were on the train an hour away from the sets. Not good timing. So when we did arrive, James wasn't in the best of moods and severely restricted our filming of anything on the sets. We did, however, on the second day get some great interviews with him. Um, I would make a few small segments, but we didn't use it the way we wanted to. And then came the original Mission Canada, which allowed us great access to the complete set, and we were able to film some fantastic stuff. Unfortunately, the laptop with a large percentage of that footage was stolen on Samuel's trip back to the UK, and all that footage was lost. Yeah, it was a, it was a bad day when that happened. But you guys were so excellent in your support, so seriously, thank you for that. Um, however, in a way, it was a blessing in disguise, because the footage we got was very dark, and the sound quality wasn't the best. I mean, we tried, but it wasn't the best. Basically, we filmed as good as we could do with what was there, but not this time. We have a plan. That's right. This campaign, we want to not only cover our costs for accommodations and travel, but also by dedicated personal clip-on mics and mm. audio recorders, as well as LED lighting rigs with proper tripods, so that we can record everything we did before, but on that next level, and with the, all the experience we gained from the last time. I love how we both did the same hand gesture without rehearsing it. Just like, so. <laughs> so, that's professional audio, proper custom lighting, 
properly done, believe me, I've had thought about this for six months, and in fact, more complete set since yeah. our last visit, James and his crew volunteers have been hard work adding to and completing the sets. So this experience will be much better for us and for you. It's exciting. That's right. Yeah. Last time we filmed some clips from my personal captain's logs from the bridge, plus trekyard segments for an upcoming special on the Constitution class ship. Not to mention the countless cutaways and small skits done by the commander and myself. But as stated this time, we can improve upon what we filmed and lost last time. Because the sets are better, with more details, and much more complete. We will be able to light it properly and have perfect crystal clear sound. As well as perfect and hone the skits and segments that we had filmed for our upcoming Trekyard specials. So we are excited to see what we can accomplish. Uh, as with the last Mission Canada trip, I'll be staying with Stuart and his lovely family at his house in Canada for a week prior to and a week after filming on the sets. This allows us to film a lot more of those live Q&As as well as other bonus stuff for our dedicated and wonderful Truck Yards viewers. We will also have access to a professional studio complete with green screen facilities so we can make other extra special Truck Yards episodes and bonus goodies as well. But we do need your help to make the most of this trip. So I was saying that green screen was a big surprise for me, so well done Stuart for organising that going to yes. be good. Absolutely. So our goal is the same as our last campaign, but with less travel, so all those funds will be put towards the new equipment and expenses. That's new mics, audio recorders, and lights. All very helpful, but not just for this trip. With future conventions, future guest interviews, and any other future adventures we might have. We have a lot of things planned in the next few months, and years to come. And all this to give you guys the best Trek Yards and best Star Trek experience possible. Plus, I mean, it helps you guys out as well. We have some fantastic perks for you all to enjoy. So by donating, you help us out financially, but you also get some cool swag and limited edition perks. Our last two campaigns went very well, very well. and each time, we, each time we exceeded our goal amounts and yeah. delivered everything we promised, and this time will be no different. Some of the awesome perks you'll be able to choose from this time include the awesome resin-casted Trek Yards badge. Woohoo! Very yeah. cool. Uh, special Trek Yards declassified Facebook group access with behind the scenes pictures and videos of us getting these episodes ready for you all to enjoy. Well, that is not all. As with last time, there's some very, very special limited edition prints, including our featured perk this year a Doug Drexler limited print, an 18 by 12 print, which will feature the NX01, NX Refit, and the original series Enterprise, all flying in formation and beautiful, pretty shot. You can see it down below. And of course, guys, all the studio models for beautiful detail. Canon, beautiful, and of course, signed by Doug Drexler. But if you want it, it's very limited. 15 only we're making. Yeah, so act quickly, guys. Only 15 limited. We have our smaller Trek Yards prints available as well this time, uh, signed by all of our incredible designers like Andrew Probert, Rick Sternbach, and, of course, Doug Drexler. There's quite a few from each different designer, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so this isn't just uh, autograph on a face. You get to pick the ship print you want as well. And speaking of Doug, we have new prints that we haven't offered before, such as the Enterprise J. How cool big. is that? That's a yeah. big signed Enterprise J print. That is a real model, beautiful render. And very high resolution too. Like you can beautiful. Close and, yeah. Beautiful. For this campaign, I also planned ahead. And at the recent FCD sci-fi convention, I worked with the convention organizers to buy a set of autographs at a good rate, so we can offer them to you here. We have three 18 by 12 Babylon 5 fleet odds prints signed by Captain John Sheridan himself, Bruce Boxleiter. Nice. And, and, Destiny from Stargate Universe wow. signed by David Blue, Eli Wallace himself. These are ultra limited. We only got a couple at the convention and we were glad to support the FCD convention by buying these and offering them to you all. So the, if you love this stuff, please get them. It was a pleasure to get them signed by these guys. But, but, that's not all folks. <sighs> uh, a special set of six different Trek Yards prints signed by Doug Drexler could all be yours with our exclusive Doug Drexler autograph bundle. As well as our regular perks, such as having your very own ship design featured in a Trek Yards episode, uh, or your name in the credits of all the episodes that come out from this campaign on future Trek Yards episodes uh, as a supporter of the show. And as you may know, we were recently brought on by the Murfield Council in the UK to work with Patrick Stewart for a charity fundraiser. I sat down with him and videos coming out very soon, and we got a set of 75 Enterprise D and 75 Enterprise E custom prints signed by Patrick Stewart himself. We did a pre-order campaign and with all the money raised, 
going directly to the charity, we were able to raise over £2,500 with your guys' help. So thank you very much. And as a thank you from Murfield Council, they are donating four of those prints to give away in this campaign. So if you missed that pre-order chance, you can get your very own Patrick Stewart print in this campaign. We are so thankful. So enjoy. And needless to say, those are very limited. So definitely yes. act quickly, guys. Yes. And that's still, still not, all. not all. Wow. Have you ever had an idea for a ship, but no way to see it realized? Can't draw or do 3D computer modeling? Well, we can help you there, too, as we have the amazing Sean Turnjo on board this time to help out. That's right, guys. You can be lucky enough to get one of three ship design packages where Sean, the designer of the USS Titan mm. and co-designer of the USS Ares and also an amazing Star Trek artist, will yes. speak with you via Skype and bring your creation to life in the visual medium. Like, how cool is that? Here's some of the prints that he did for us that will be available at some point in the future from our Trekyard store. So this is the kind of stuff that you'll be getting from him. He, bring it, your it, ship to life. It's very cool. I mean, that we had Andrew Probert last time, and that went so amazing. We want to do another special thing for you guys. So three. Three. He's really talented, and we're very, very happy to see him as part of this campaign. Yeah. And that is about it, guys. Please check out all the perks we've listed on our Indiegogo page, and please do support us by getting something awesome if you can. Lots to offer you guys, and we simply love doing that. We always try to bring something cool, and you can't literally get anywhere else. I mean, some of this stuff is really very, very awesome. But guys, please don't forget, this is all to visit the sets and create the bonus footage and videos that we're releasing for you guys for free on Trek Yards for weeks and months after. Mission America had hundreds or hundred plus videos. Mm -hmm. This is another one of those trips, so please support we we'll get back to our respective little boxes because we're going to meet each other again. We're in different boxes again. <laughs> it's going to come to you and you'll love it. So excited things to come. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video and for visiting our campaign. And we are eager to make all your dreams come true within reason and within our means, of course. <laughs> we do this show not only for us, but for you guys as well and for all the fans of Trek to come and enjoy. So with all that being said, please share this video and the campaign around and yep. donate if you can. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we look forward to what the future holds. Live long and prosper, guys. Until next time, I'm Captain Foley. And I am Commander Cockings. And we are Team Trek Yards. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs>